Louise. I run a family blog on Instagram. It looks a little bit like this. And today I am going to show you how to do one of the things I use most often on Photoshop and that is to take an overexposed boring sky like this and swap it out for a better one like this. So let's go. Click on the padlock to unlock your base layer and then you can drag it down to the plus to create a second layer and then on that copied layer select your quick selection tool and use that to highlight all of the foreground image that you want to keep and then add your layer mask. Now click back on the base layer so the sky comes up behind the layer mask and you can go to file and place embedded and then from this selection you can choose a different sky. You can just drag this into position and hit enter on your keyboard to lock it in place. I'm going to turn down the opacity a little bit so it's not quite such a strong image. And then working on my layer mask, I'm going to come up to select. I'm going to choose select a mask and simultaneously hold down the shift key when I press that so I can just draw in over any small details the quick selection tool didn't pick up. And then I'm going to select my eraser tool and I want a medium sized soft round brush. And I'm going to use this just above the edge of the layer mask so the faded edge of the brush just reduces the harshness of that line and then I'm just going to use a slightly smaller one nearer to the subject so that it doesn't damage any of the edges and soften up that horizon line so it's a little bit less stark. Now on the sky layer I'm also going to just brighten it a tiny little bit. I'm going to select my brush tool now you can see I've already got a bed but if you need to import one you just click on this little settings icon here and go down to import brushes. In your search engine, you can just pop in free Photoshop bird brushes and loads of options will come up and be in your download folder. And then you'll have them here ready to start just having a look at which ones you like and drawing them into your image. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you found it helpful. Adobe Photoshop and I have made it really easy with some downloadable files that you can practice on and if you do use this in your work on Instagram and you post it, please tag me, this is my handle. I would absolutely love to see your work. Thank you. Bye.